What's up? This is Guardy with Clear Life Media, Clear Life Combat. I'm here in Leak City at the Clear Life HQ. I got a guest that's zooming in. We're going to be learning everything that he has going on. I'm going to let him introduce himself. We're going to find it all out. Hey, how's it going? What's up, brother? I'm uh, Josh Augustine. Better known as R.E. R.E. of the Just here to chat it up with you, my guy. Yes, sir. So thank you for making time. If someone's not familiar with you, I guess let them know what you got going on. Where do you train out of and, and what kind of goals you have? Yeah, man. Uh, right now, I'm a professional MMA fighter. I'm training out of a shoot for MMA. Uh, you know, as far as goals, I'm looking to take this as far as, as, far as the sport will take me. Uh, definitely looking to be a champion in the UFC, outside of the UFC, all the major promotions. And, uh, you know, I want to be a multi-promotional, multi-weight class champion. This is my goal. Yes, sir. So Sunday, November 10th, you're going to make your way uh, to Houston, Texas, elevate fighting championship. You are the the main event. Someone hasn't seen you fight. What can they expect when they see you in the cage? Fireworks, man. Absolute fireworks. I always go out there and I'm looking to uh, hurt my opponent. I'm not looking to go out and, you know, squeak a decision like a lot of guys. I think that, uh, <clears throat> like, fights are really settled when it's over. I don't like to see, personally, whenever I watch fights, I don't like to see guys you know, just just barely winning decisions on stuff. I think like going out there and winning in dominant fashion, uh, one way or the other, is the most exciting way to watch fights. And so I try to be that whenever I'm whenever I'm the performer or the entertainer. So I'm going out there to absolutely decimate, absolutely decimate uh, Josh Altum. Yeah, I had the chance to interview Josh Altum. Did you see any of that interview at all? Uh, I haven't yet. Yeah, and I, I did see that you had put something out on, on social media um, in a story because Josh had shared it. And I've, I've known Josh for some years, um, and you kind of ha had a message to him as well. What was that? Yeah, you know, I was just uh, feeling myself after my run, and, you know, I, I said in there, I think that uh, he's tasted smarter fights. He's, you know, he lost his last fight to uh, Michael Aswell just recently got signed to the UFC, and I saw – a little clip, I believe that was an interview with you, where he said, uh, you know, he left Fury to go to Elevate because he believes in his abilities and people that he has around him and stuff. And, I, and my message to him is just that he needs to take smarter fights, take easier fights, because this is very far from that. I'm not only on the brink of reaching that next level, but whenever I get there, I'm going to be a mainstay in the, sh in the show. And uh, I'm trading around all the best people in the world. I'm uh, you know, not only competing with them, but I'm doing very, very well every single day. And uh, I'm planning on walking through them. And then after that, then, then we're going to go on to the dance and I'm going to make a real run for the title. And I think that this kid has some good potential. You know, obviously he's got he's black belt jiu-jitsu and uh, the striking's getting better and better every fight. But um, for him to build up a career and to get to that next level, he's going to have to put a shirt and wins together. Um, it doesn't come from fighting tough fights and being a guy or losing to a guy like Michael as well. And then um, having a tough fight with a 500 guy, the fight before that. And then, you know, before that, get knocked out by a root. Yeah, those are some tougher fights, but um, that's not going to get him to the dance. It's going to get him to the dance and getting wins. And for me and him, matchup wise, uh, it definitely leads to my favor. Okay. what What's your style or what's your, your, your fighting um, style? Well, I mean, um, six of my seven wins are by knockout. But uh, since I've been here to stream, I've really rounded out my game. I really figured out how to use, you know, anti-jiu-jitsu, anti-wrestling, and, and even to grow um, some of those things into my game and be able to utilize them in an offensive offensive way as well. Um, and that's why I just look forward to the future and seeing where things go. I think that the, uh, the sky's the limit for me with my athletic ability and my skills. And, uh, yeah, I'm just looking forward to going out there and competing. Have you ever been to Texas, or specifically Houston, before? And, and what do you think about it? I've never been to Houston. I've been to Texas. I'm not a huge fan, to be honest. I, I stayed out in San Antonio for a little bit. I've been to uh, Dallas. And everything's so spread out. Everything's all over the place. There's good food and, and shit was kind of cool, I guess. But uh, I love Vegas. Man, Vegas is, Vegas is awesome. Yeah, what kind of things do you like getting into in Vegas if you have time and you're not training or in camp? 
Well, I mean, pretty much all I do is train and work and you know, my kid and shit. So I don't, I don't really find myself getting into too much crazy stuff out here. But there's always something to do, man. There's always shows. There's always cheap shows. There's always amazing food all around. There's, you know, there's always something if you want to get into it. But, you know, for me, I'm just locked in right now. I'm looking to make the most out of my career and my time. And I'm just so focused on on getting to the next level and getting some serious money for my family and I. Where are you originally from, and and at what point in your life did you start training? Yeah, I'm from uh, St. Louis, Missouri, originally. That's where I was born and raised. And I started training whenever I was 15 years old. I just happened to stumble into a gym. I was just I played all sports growing up, and uh, I was just riding bikes with my friends, and we ended up going by a little gym and I looked inside the window and I saw the boxing ring and the cage and the bag and the mats and I was like man what the hell this is crazy like can't believe people really do this shit and then fast forward 15 years here we are yeah was there people or even your family at the time or friends were they kind of surprised or just expect that oh, it makes sense for, for Josh to want to get into this stuff uh, I think most people in my family and, and close immediate circle were pretty like uh not surprised at all like i think that they were like oh okay yeah this makes sense uh i think like people that were really close to me were definitely worried because no one wants their you know loved ones in a fucking cage fight especially at you know like 13 14 years ago the sport was not what it is today it wasn't cool to be a fighter it was kind of like weird and still a little bit taboo at that point but uh yeah it's uh it's been a very natural progression, and I'm really happy that it happened because it always gave me an outlet whenever I was around that age and started getting in trouble. And like, at, at the time that I learned that physical confrontation wasn't how you handle like problems, was at the same time that I was like starting to regularly train every day, and uh, it gave me that outlet. Are there any uh, regional promotions out there in St. Louis, Missouri? And I, I guess how long have you been in? Uh out there at extreme couture in, in vegas and and what kind of sparked that that move hey i need to get out here uh yeah there, there are some small promotions in st louis i fought for pretty much all of them um i was champion of a promotion called nemesis fighting alliance um uh, and i guess i still am and um then i fought a lot of fights for shamrock fc their bigger promotion in the midwest um and they put on a great production value. They put on some good shows. I did some fights with them. And, uh, yeah, I ended up signing with Iridium Sports Agency back in 22. And they kind of sparked that move out here. And then one thing led to another. I actually ended up leaving Iridium and I'm with Roman Athletic Institute. Um, Roman Isbell, he's my uh, manager, coach. Uh, really taking care of me. Really trust him. And, uh, yeah, it was just a natural progression. Just you know, was kind of reaching the pinnacle of that gym in the city and starting to find that there wasn't too much more reach out there. I thought I was the man and coming out here and training really opened my eyes. So being around the best people in the world all the time, not even just the best fighters in the world, but a lot of different coaches, a lot of different styles and uh, just being around people who want to do it. People who see this as their end all be all not just like hobbyists that are kind of good at one thing or the other and kind of want to shoot can like kind of help you at one way or the other uh you know this is people's lives here like people really dedicate everything and, and put things to the side to to be here and that was something that was really special to me because i felt like i was kind of the outcast and kind of a weirdo for making it my whole life for so many years and people would be like oh is this really realistic you know kind of projecting their own thing on me and for me, once I got here, it felt like home because they're like, you know, I don't have my family to like, you know, help me every day or whatever, or like help me watch my kid, but I do have a backing around me. I do have people that understand my vision and see, um, see my potential as well and want to help me get there. And obviously people that are above me in the line and behind me in the line. And I can kind of look in both directions and see, you know, where I want to go, who I want to be, what kind of training I want to do, the type of people that I surround myself with. And all of those things, you know, like, um, like they say, if you're, um, uh, around four millionaires, you're going to be a fit. If you're around four fucking losers, what are you going to be? And so, you know, it just, uh, it was natural for me. As soon as I saw the gym, I was just like, oh man, probably, 
in a city the rest of my career out here unless something um, opens up that seems like perfect or you know I get a lot of things that are you know catered to me you know we'll, like we'll do the future holds but I can definitely see myself being in the rest of my career how did that connection and opportunity with Elevate FC come up uh, just through my manager Roman Isbell he's one of the best in the game for sure he's a uh, very knowledgeable. He's connected to everyone all over the country. Um, and yeah, he gave me the offer and you know, we, we thought it was a really good matchup. Awesome. Very cool. Um, man, I'm excited for this fight. It's coming up quick. You know, what kind of things are from now till, till the fight happens November 10th? Uh, what, what kind of things are you going to be working on or what does that generally look like for you? Um, I mean, uh, you know, it's not um, anything new. This is something I've been doing for a while. Ten pro fights, uh, over thirty amateur fights. You know, it's just a matter of getting in shape. And you know, my coaches and I, we have some really specific things that we're breaking down on him and his game plan and how he fights to fight his fights. And I think he's training really hard. He's going to be ready for a good fight. But I'm already out thinking him. I'm already seeing what's going to work, what's not going to work. We're already executing things that are going to happen in the fight. And uh, I'm planning on going out and putting all of the, this hard work together, putting all these um, sequences and and uh, different setups and stuff together. And I think that it's going to create a devastating highlight reel. I don't see how he could emulate. How, it's going to be hard for him to find anyone to emulate my style. But for him to have a handful of people throughout camp that are going to push him in a similar style of mine is going to be damn near impossible. Uh, but for me, I have a handful of guys that can fight like him on the feet, that have better shoots than him, that have better wrestling than him. And they can push me every single day. And I can learn, I can grow every single day. And I am more than confident that I'll be overly prepared for this fight. Uh, and on top of that, I think I'm going to be his toughest fight today. Uh, me and Arut will be the toughest fights. Arut is solid, and um, but he's more of a grappler. And Josh got TKO by him, got knocked out by him. And uh, I'm my striking's pretty solid. And my anti wrestling jiu-jitsu is getting really fucking good. I don't see him being able to open things up. And uh, he's gonna want a way out eventually, whether that's on the ground or the feet. He's gonna he's gonna find his way out, um, just like he has in that fight. He has well fight, and. Uh, I'm not going out there to, you know, barely touch him up and get by. I'm going to go out there to try to hurt him. He's going to feel that right out of the gate in the very first exchange. And, uh, yeah, I think it's going to be exactly what I need it to be to get me to that next level. Awesome. So Elevate FC is taking place Sunday, November 10th. You can get your tickets. That's going to be in Houston, Texas at the ULH Event Center. You can also watch on clearlifemedia.com if you're out of town or want to go back and watch Again, Josh, is there anything else that you would like to share? Just follow me on Instagram at RDMMA. Uh, I got to say thank you to my management, Roman Isabel, Rishi Apollo, everyone over at Roman Athletic Institute. Uh, obviously, all my sponsors, you guys made this happen from Gelato, Photo Roofing, Big A, Seamless Scudders, Two Car Guys, Sports Analytics. Uh, don't want to leave anyone out, sorry. Uh, St. Louis Golden Toad Inc. Uh, yeah, anyone that live in Latitude Dispensary, Vertical Cannabis, all you guys couldn't do this without you guys. Make sure that you get onto the stream. I'll make sure I share everything out. And um, yeah, it's going to be an amazing fight. I'm looking to um, take this time, that time that I've had off, and really show my growth, my skill set, and show not only. Daniel White and all the brass over at UFC that I'm ready for that next level to show myself that I'm ready for that next level to go out there against the game competitor and uh, just do what I do. Ball out. Josh, thanks so much for making time today. I appreciate you. Thank you, brother. I appreciate you, Bert. This is Guardy with Clear Life Combat. Y'all be blessed.